Reed Drummond. I'm a writer, blogger, photographer, mother, and I'm an accidental country girl. I live on a ranch in the middle of nowhere, and I've got a lot of mouths to feed. My style of food is simple yet scrumptious, and all my recipes have to be approved by cowboys, hungry kids, and me. Here's what's happening. It's a busy time on the ranch, and the family's been working since dawn. So I'm making them the ultimate ranch dinner. Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, and a marinated tomato salad. This is pretty close to a perfect meal. For dessert, I'm happy to provide them with their after-dinner entertainment. I showed you guys! The next morning, the family's back in the saddle for another 5 a.m. cattle gathering. And I'm cooking up cowboy breakfast sandwiches and sunrise punch. All right, I gotta head back to the house. You still got some stuff to do. Welcome to my frontier. Great place for us to have family dinners, kick back and enjoy a nice meal. I'm making chicken fried steak tonight. My family's been working since about five o'clock this morning. So I figured they could use a really good dinner and one that would stick to their ribs. Now, chicken fried steak is of course delicious, but it's not exactly what one would call a pretty dish. So a lot of times I'll serve up a platter of ripe sliced tomatoes just to give the meal a little color. But since we're in that great time of year right now and I'm growing herbs on the ranch, I'm gonna make a marinated tomato salad that's really colorful and gorgeous. I'm under no illusions that it's gonna be the most popular dish of the meal tonight, since we're having chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy. All right, I've got some green onions from my garden. Lop off the tops and just slice them really thin. My family really is a meat and potatoes family. My husband is especially a meat and potatoes guy, so Chicken fried steak is his absolutely favorite meal. Yeah, she said she was going to have a good meal tonight, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be, uh, that'll be pleasant. I might even take Josh along if he's nice to me. Josh has been our cowboy for years and years. He's lived on the ranch for a really long time, and he really is a part of our family in many ways. He's glutton for punishment. Okay, I've just got some green onions. Oh, it smells so good. Whoever invented balsamic vinegar is one of my heroes. I love it. And then I brought some really pretty herbs from my garden. Fresh parsley. I just give it a rough chop. I don't like to mince the heck out of herbs because I think they're so pretty in big pieces. And then I'll just scrunch up the basil leaves do a really rough chiffonade. I had to throw that word in there. It makes me feel sophisticated. And then in go the herbs. Just stir them around and this looks so good and the flavors are gonna be out of this world. Well, chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes go hand in hand and these are the best mashed potatoes I've ever had and there's a reason for that. I start by boiling five pounds of potatoes, then mash them over low heat to keep them from getting watery. And that's when I get serious. And getting serious means adding a stick and a half of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, and a cup of heavy cream. Then you mash it all in, add some seasoned salt, some regular salt, and some black pepper. Then I spread the potatoes in a buttered dish and as if that's not decadent enough, I dot the top of the potatoes with butter. Later, I'll stick these in the oven and heat them up. Right now, I'm gonna go get the stuff to set the table. But that sounds like a good job for my kids. Up next, I'm cooking the ultimate cowboy dinner. This is looking good, and the family's cooking up a ranch challenge. They like messing with me. This is our family ranch, the place we call home. The country views change with the seasons and I never get bored at looking at the animals and the rolling hills. This is the lodge. 
It was built in the 1950s, and when I first met Lad, this is where he lived. We fixed it up quite a bit since then, and these days we use it for all sorts of things. I cook and test recipes here. Most of the time I'm on my own, but sometimes my sister-in-law Missy joins me. And other times my daughters Alex and Paige give me a hand. No! <laughs> it's always lots of fun when they're in the kitchen with me. <laughs> Who can play at this game? I'm out of this game. <laughs> I get lots of inspiration from my pantry. We hold big family gatherings at the lodge. We celebrate birthdays. Happy birthday, Papa! Thanksgiving. And of course, Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We entertain outside, too. Here's a rancher's party we had a few years back. And just take a look at who won the shooting contest. And if it's cold and rainy and I'm all alone on the ranch, the lodge is just the place. I curl up with my best buddy, Charlie, and relax. This is our ranch house, home to me, Lad, and our four kids. And the dogs. And the cats. Oh, good kitties. Outside is our basketball court, a great place for the kids to play. And the vegetable garden. Ah, my pride and joy. The ranch house is where football games happen when Lad's college friends visit. Run for it! Run! But our house really comes into its own every 4th of July and we throw a big summertime bash. The grand finale is always an enormous fireworks display. This is the creek that runs just below our house all the way through the ranch. During the summer months when things get really hot, it's practically dry. In the spring when the rains move in, it goes to the other extreme. In order to get from our house to the lodge, we have to cross the creek. We go by truck, by horse, by ATV. I even go by foot when I'm on my evening walks. The creek is the backdrop for some really fun activities. Once a year, Lad's mom takes the kids and their cousins camping. 45 degrees from the corner. While the grown-ups pitch the tents, the kids go down to the creek to play. The ranch animals love it there, too. Charlie even uses the creek when he needs a bath. And the cattle and wild horses gather there for a refreshing drink on a hot day. Outside our house are some barns and buildings. In this barn, we sometimes raise bottle calves. Cowgirl, Spike, and Abigail were some of the kids' recent favorites. This old barn was on the ranch for years and years. It was made from a couple of old box cars. They had a really good run, but they were falling apart, so eventually we had to burn them down. This is our horse barn now. Most working days on the ranch begin here. Just before daylight, Lad opens up the door and the kids join him, bleary-eyed, to saddle up their horses. The kids love their horses. This is Alex's horse, Pee-wee. Paige's horse is named Cutter, Bryce rides Jack, and here's Todd with Lizard. The pens just outside our ranch house are in constant use throughout the year. Lad, the kids, and the other cowboys round up the cattle, drive them down there, and sort them into different groups. Sometimes they need to separate the cows from the calves so they can doctor them. Other times, Lad and the kids round up the bulls to keep them away from the cows. This way, they control the breeding. The pond behind our house is a source of endless fun for the kids and their friends. It's the nearest place to the house to see who can skip the most stones. But the most popular activity around the pond is definitely fishing. This is the time Cowboy Josh wanted to teach the kids how to fish. But what he really wanted to do was prank him. Bryce, Todd, come here, quick, I got something big. What 
is that? It's a core! Oh, alligator! <laughs> Good thing there was homemade raspberry lemonade to cool everyone down. It is amazing. This is Bryce and Todd's man cave. Once upon a time, it was used as a salt house to keep salt and mineral dry. Bryce and Todd got together with their best friends, Philip and Patrick. They hosed the place down. Turn it on! <laughs> gave it a good sweep and went to the store to help deck the place out. Go forth and shop. <laughs> oh, dude, try to find the black one. Some cup. I'm gonna get this one right here. By the end of the day, when I delivered them all dinner. Oh, look Anybody? at this! It was a bona fide man cave, completely transformed from this to this. The perfect so place good. for a delicious, man friendly meal. Oh! That is delicious. This is our cowboy Josh's house. And here, right next door, is where he used to live. Growing up, he would work on the ranch during the summers. Then, when he was all done with school, he came here for good. These circular pins are used to train horses that work on the ranch. Josh and his Uncle Lee used to give the kids cutting lessons here. Just roll that leg in there if you have to. More leg, be strong. More. Like that. Now you're and There it is. I like